Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play Wing Commander Privateer. Last time, we successfully made it to the Rigonon system after learning that we're going on a treasure hunt, and uh, that the Steltech uh, piece that Dr. Monkhouse had combined with ours gave us a treasure map. So, we're here, and I'm not quite sure what exactly we're doing here right now, but let's head over to the bar, and uh, we see a woman named Taryn Cross, and she does in fact look kind of cross. Hmm... Excuse me, I'm looking for Taryn Cross. You found her. So, you gonna slit my throat or just rob me? Don't let my clothes fool you. They're a little rough, but times have been hard. Which leads me to the point. I'm looking for work. And you heard the exploratory service takes anyone. Is that it? That's a misconception, I'm afraid. Our work is hazardous, yes. But not all our employees sport scars and pirate hats. The job requires brains as well as blasters. I'm a privateer. Believe me, I'm not looking for a handout. Just a job. I have all the qualifications you're looking for. An eye for detail, a nose for trouble, and a butt that's never been kicked. Suppose I'll have to check that out for myself later. Okay, if you want the job you're in, on a permission basis. Right now, I need someone for a potentially dangerous assignment. I'm in charge of charting maps for the sector. The ES has lost a number of ships in the Delta system. And through Jump Point Delta, which remains unexplored, could be a Kilrathi, a Singularity, or Black Magic, no one knows. But I'll pay you 10,000 credits to find out. That sounds simple enough. We just need to explore some territory. I think we can handle that. You leave Rigannon. Travel to the Delta system and scout it through four nav points. The navigational info you'll need will be programmed in your nav computer. Basically, for charting purposes, you'll be flying a small loop. And standard nav points which make up the loop have been calculated. Simply hit all the nav points and return here safely. And we'll download what we need from your flight desk and pay you, of course. Sounds pretty easy. Easy? <laughs> We've lost three vessels so far. Yeah, but did those pilots have scars or pirate hats? Neither. Then get ready to strike. Here there be dragons from your map, Ms. Cross. It'll be a pleasure. Good luck. <laughs> well, this woman seems a little bit more friendly and receptive to us, so that's nice. Okay, well, let's see if there's any uh, missions for us here. The Rigonon system might as well try and earn a little extra cash. Hmm. You don't fight some, fight, fight some guys? No. Nav 1 of Rigonon? Yeah, I can handle that. That seems pretty easy. Okay, let's see. Bounty? No. No. But that Nav 1 in Rigonon, I can handle. Wait, do I have to face against asteroids getting here? I can't remember. Because uh, we're at Nav 2, so... Yes, that was asteroids, so... Yeah, I don't want to deal with asteroids. Screw that. I want to see if I can find something at Nav 2. If I find something at Nav 2, that'd be great. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. Thanks, Privateer. Appreciate it. <laughs> I love that movie. It's an oldie, but it's definitely a classic. Okay. Well, there's Nav 2, so that's good. Uh, let's see. Um, scout for Nav 1 Perry, so, uh, yeah, I think I'm good for right now, so I'll just save real quick, and then we will head out and get this thing done. No, I just realized, I screwed that up. Um, there are no asteroids in this system, I was thinking of the previous system. So, my fault, my fault, so we can take that one, uh, retroactivity in Nav 1. Yeah, I'll definitely take that for sure. Okay, okay, now we can go ahead and go along with our mission. So, okay, let me save real quick and then we'll do this. Okay, here we go. And we're launching, we're gonna explore the unknown frontier. Kinda cool, actually. Okay, so you'll notice that a new nav point's been opened to the Delta system, so that's kinda neat, but first we need to head over to nav. Well, you know what? I'll hit that on my way back. I'll explore these four delta points then. 
um, just like before, I'll, uh, well, you know, you know, well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll just do that. I'll hit it on my way back to Delta, and then I'll head over to Raganon, so we'll do it that way. Save you guys some viewing time. All right. Oh, crap, asteroids. Wait, there's asteroids in a, in a, near a, a jump point? Well, this can't possibly be good. No, I better slow down here. Man, asteroids near a jump point. Hmm, I don't like this already. I don't like this one bit. I did this before BC's Universe. I can't stand asteroids. Take up my time. Okay, come on. Right, I'll have to show this at BC's Universe to see these short bursts of speed. I never like to be about 350 clicks when I do these asteroid jumps. Are these asteroid fields? Okay, let's get out of here. Avoid these stupid asteroids. Oh! Does that mean there's asteroids on this side? It yeah, doesn't look like it, so that's good. Okay, well let's just let's just hit these. Okay, we've hit nav one, so that's good. I guess let's do uh, let's do this way. Let's hit nav four first. This is the furthest away. And we'll just do a quick loop around, and then we should be in good shape. Oh man, more asteroids! Man, have they sent me to an asteroid? Well, no wonder that all those ships got lost. They've sent me to asteroid fields. Fortunately, it's close. Oh, man. It's getting kind of scary there, BCS Universe. Let's do the short... Little, little bursts. Yeah, good thing I got that repair droid. It's going to help us in case I accidentally get hit by an asteroid. <coughs> All right. Just need to get within 2,000 clicks, and then I can get the heck out of here. Okay, come on. Come on. All right, let's get within those 2,000 clicks. Okay, let me make sure I got credit for it. Okay, yes, I did. So see now the, the, the map's no longer red. So that's good. All right, so I'll just um, after burn my way out of this zone, away from these asteroids, and then we'll head over to Nav 3. Okay. As soon as I can. I don't think they. I was quite out of that asteroid field, but I don't care. Getting right out of there. Oh, great. Now what? Oh, just some talons. Okay, I can deal with that. How many of them? I didn't see how many, was it? No, it's like four talons. Okay, no problem. We all know I'm capable enough to deal with that. Fire! Oh, right. <laughs> well, that was easy. One just ran into my wing. Again, I'm going to try and save missiles, because I want to try and save some money. I don't really need missiles to deal with talons. I mean, these things are pretty, pretty much a walk in the park. Assuming I can get behind him. Or just do that. <laughs> hey, it's unorthodox, but you know what? Whatever. I've never exactly been a uh, normal person. How are we doing on repairs? Oh, we're doing fine. Right, come on. <laughs> oh, I love it. Are these guys running away? Wait, is there more talons that showed up? Yep, looks like it. Looks like a lot of enemies to deal with this. Yeah, that guy doesn't really feel like fighting us. Yeah, he's running away, but these guys wanna these guys wanna rumble. And that's fine. Oh, four more talons. Whew, man, these guys are all over the place, so. Okay, well, I'll take on, I'll take up these talons. You know how to do this by now. And I'll be back once I'm done with that. Okay, and I think that one's running away from us. Or he's just hanging out and doesn't really want to fight. That's fine. Okay. So we've taken care of that. Now let's head over to Nav 2. Yeah, so that other talon doesn't want anything to do with us. And... To be fair, I don't, don't really think... Oh! Crap. Wait, do I have to fight inside the asteroid field? Oh, boy. 
Well, this should be a lot of fun. In a not so fun way. Yik! Okay, here they come. Okay, fortunately, I've got really good shields. Okay. I don't think so. Yeah, you're nailed, pal. I guess here would be okay, an, an acceptable time to use uh to use uh missiles because you just never know. You can't really afterburn after them. Or yeah, because either they'll get hit by the missile or they'll run into an asteroid. So it's you know it's kind of a it's like what Maniac and Blair were talking about back in Wing Commander Three. Yeah, you're nailed, pal. When they're, you know, they're saying you know, the enemy's got to fly through it too, which is a good point. You know, the enemy does have to navigate through these asteroid fields just like we do. But if you, but if you throw a fire a missile, I can also throw them off just a little bit. This crate's about to explode. Um, giving you time to chase it down and shoot it down with your guns. I actually think a, a hit with a really powerful tachyon gun is even more effective than a missile. So something to keep in mind. There we go. I hit that, that point yet. No, I'm actually getting further away from the nav point. I don't think I've hit it yet. Have I? You know, I check and see if you hit. No, I haven't hit it yet. I want to hit that nav point so I can. Okay, the enemy is still coming. It's fine. No problem. Okay, well, I'll finish up with these talons. Hopefully, I won't take yeah, too much damage from these asteroids. Cow. I'm not nailed. And then I'll be back once I am done with that. Alright, got him. Whew, that was dangerous there, BCS Universe. But yeah, see, my repair droid's already uh, doing its job, because I'd actually taken some damage earlier, ramming into one of the fighters uh, with my targeting system. But my repair droid has taken care of that, so that's pretty good. Okay, so let's, uh, hit, let's hit this nav point, and then we're going to get the hell out of here. Why did I fire? Stupid. I don't think you can shoot down asteroids in this game either. Let's find out. Oh, you can. Okay, well, that's good. That's helpful. You can at least shoot down the asteroids. Yeah, and they go down actually much faster than the original Wing Commander games. Still doesn't mean you should go any faster, though. If you, you, know, you just need to get out of the way, then just get out of the way. Get out the way. Get out the way. Yeah, I definitely do not need to be dealing with it. I'm trying to save some money. On repairs for sure. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. And I think I've hit all the nav points. Yes, I have. Excellent. So let's head back over to nav one now and let's get out of here. So I'll have to burn out of this zone and then be back once I'm done with that. Okay, survived. So let's just get out of here and head over here. I don't think there's any asteroids here. No, so that's good. I remember there's asteroids on the other side of that jump point. Okay. So let's just head over here. Jump out of here. And then take care of what I need to take care of. Head back to Delta. Because, whew, I'm definitely ready to be done with this. Right, let's get out of here. Come on, hit that jump point. There you go. And we'll boom it. Oh! <coughs> Alright. Excellent. Okay, I know there's asteroids here. I've never seen them. So, okay. So what I'm going to do now is head over to Nav 1, hit that Nav point, and then head back to Nav 2. And I'll just meet you once I've, uh, once I've, uh, gotten, get taken care of that. And then I'll just meet you over at, uh, when I'm about to land on the Nav 2 base of Ragonon. Alright, now we're about to land on the Ragonon base. <clears throat> no problems there with any of those zones. There are some Talons at Nav 1 try to take me out, but... I defeated them in about 20 seconds, so no problems there. Now and I don't care about those ships. Landing, so. We'll just land and be done. All right, we successfully landed and mapped our first zone, or our first uh, system there of Delta. But how come all those other enemy ships weren't, or friendly ships weren't able to avoid those asteroids? Is there something else out there? You're going to have to wait until next time to find out. Till then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all.